Hey there everyone, it's Matt, and today we're going to be taking a look at my new Sony Z series and the old Sony NW series. If you had been seeing my previous videos, I accidentally called it the S series before, but that's incorrect. It is the NW series. This one specifically is the NW270F. This was bought at Best Buy, and this was purchased from the Sony store at Tyson's Corner. So in comparison, let's go down the specs. This one, as you know, is the Sony Z series. It's the base model, and it has an Intel second generation Core i5 2.5 gigahertz dual core processor. It has four gigabytes of memory, non-expandable, and you cannot upgrade these. A 128 gigabyte solid state flash drive, no moving parts, Basically, it's a 64 gigabyte times two, so two separate pieces in there. The display is 13.1 inches. It has a Microsoft Windows 7 Professional operating system, and the cache size is three megabytes. And this one was released in 2012. Now, going back to this one, this is the NW series. This was released in 2009, late 2009, and this has an Intel Core 2 Duo T6600 dual core. It has 2.2 gigahertz. It has four gigabytes of memory, but you can upgrade it to eight gigabytes. You can upgrade anything in this. It's really easy to take apart where this one is not, and that's one of the letdowns, I think. Continuing on, this has a 320 gigabyte Serial ATA-150 that spins at 5,400 rotations per minute and that of course is a hard disk drive with moving parts and that's one, one hard disk drive in there. The display is a 15.5 inch TFT active matrix. The operating system is Windows, Microsoft Windows 7 Home Premium. This does have a Blu-ray optical drive, as you can see here too, where this one has the expandable, if you've seen the other videos I've had, the expandable, um, I believe it's uh, what Radeon graphics with an optical drive, but this one only has the DVD drive. You can upgrade to a Blu-ray player if you go to the higher end ones, but I believe that starts at $2,000. This one is $1,000. $599, where this one was $799. So basically, completely double the price for this. I'm sorry about being ADD. Let's go back and finish the specs on this. This is a read only Blu ray disc, and the graphics processor on this is an Intel GMA 4500 MHD. Dynamic Video Memory Technology 5.0. So it has an integrated, also Radeon Premium Graphics, but it's integrated in this where this is, has it separately. And I remember saying earlier on, and I'll reiterate again, you don't need to have the extra Radeon Graphics. This already has enough, enough processing power to watch your iTunes movies, to watch streaming video, and there are no hiccups. Where this one, even though it seems like it has the same kind of power and it has the integrated processing chip, just being an older computer, it does give you hiccups when you play 1080p movies, a little bit when you play 720p videos, and sometimes it skips a little bit on your streaming video. So that's your difference there. What I have seen is even though this has a lesser resolution screen, you can see here, you can see the pixels. This has a finer resolution. When I do play streaming video, and pretty much all video, it doesn't seem to take advantage of all the pixels that it can here, and for some reason it looks very blocky on streaming. On here, it does take advantage of all the pixels on here, and I just have to think that because of streaming, they only go for a certain you know, video encoding type, and it just suits this one better than it does this. 
Also in comparison, the speakers on these, louder, if you can hear that beep. Now listen to this, it's very muted. And one of the reasons is, not the main reason, just this having so much smaller speakers than this one. This has speakers coming out the top, so it's gonna be facing into you and giving you the sound, where this one, the speakers are underneath. So you're gonna be, and these are right here, you're going to have to place it on something hard so it can echo out and give you maybe a little bit more surround sound, but this doesn't give you good sound at all. It does come with a good pair of headphones, noise canceling headphones, this one does not, because this does need it. Now, we're continuing to compare these two. We're gonna boot up iTunes. You're going to see how long this takes, and I'm going to give you a sample of how this sounds. So after a little bit, it did take about 30 seconds for everything to boot up in iTunes. It's downloading some music, but I want to have you listen to Maroon 5's One More Night. Small clip. Now that does have good sound. It's pumped all the way up to the top where it can be in terms of volume. Let's open up iTunes on this. It is gonna be a lot faster. See, look, instantly it's up. And we're gonna search for one more night. Oh, and currently it's not available. So what we're gonna to have to do is we're going to go to the iTunes store and we're just going to search for it. And you're just going to see how the sound is not as good as this. That's why it does include the headphones. So we're going to pump it all up to the highest that it can and we're going to play it. Give you a uh, less than 10 second clip. You can see it's a lot tinny, tinnier, no bass whatsoever. If you are an audiophile or if you like playing with media or doing anything, you're gonna hate using this without any speakers. But with speakers, it's amazing. That noise canceling effects on it, they work perfectly. They don't give you a hiss. They're a lot better. But if you just want something to take around, this has it, no speakers.